Welcome back to the channel everyone, Nemesis is here and in this video I'm going to be playing some Royal Giant. Um, you know, I've been pushing a ton of ladder on my mini account and I figured it's time to hop on the main account and uh, push some trophies on here as well because it's been kind of falling a little bit behind so I want to show it some love and you know push some ladder I guess so. You know, I've been playing, you know, just some RG. I haven't really played RG in a while because, um, you know, I've been playing a ton of bridge spam. And, uh, yeah, I haven't, like I said, just haven't been playing Royal Giant because it's just not as good. For example, there are just better options at the moment in terms of, you know, evolution. So, you know, you got the Evolution Knight. You also got the Evolution Barbarians. Those are simply just better options, you know, you just can't really go wrong with them. And with that being said, I'm actually pretty curious if I just do Royal Giant with Evo Knight in it. So like RG Evo Knight, I really wonder how that would work to be quite honest with you. So um, yeah, I definitely want to give that deck a shot. I could honestly see it working because Evo Knight can fit in pretty much any deck. I'm sure you guys know that by now. So uh, you know, it's worth a shot. It really is worth a shot. That is pretty annoying that that log hit my Electro Spirit, but you know it is what it is um and yeah i'm just gonna go for this fisherman right here pretty important in this matchup to make sure that when they have their knight pushing your lane you want to like play the fisherman in the middle so both towers hit it especially against like the evolution knight because you need to maximize the amount of damage as possible to kill the evolution knight so uh yeah i think that's just oh my gosh that was a beautiful interaction as well just the Ghost plus E-Wiz just hitting those wall breakers like that. That was amazing. But uh, yeah, just that's the only really big issue. And to be quite honest with you guys, um, I definitely think that this is the opponent's matchup now. So like last season and everything like that, I would say it's my matchup. But, you know, with the Evolution Knight being super strong and the RG getting a pretty big HP nerf, it's a lot harder to break through now. So um. There's just a lot of matchups that RG had that was like good for RG last season, but now it's just in favor of the other deck. So it's kind of annoying, honestly. I feel like they really should just revert the RG change because, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like an evolution anymore. I know it's kind of, they need to balance it and stuff like that, but I just don't know anymore, you know? Uh, it just doesn't feel like an evolution. I feel like they gotta revert that HP nerf and uh, just to kind of put it back into the meta again a little bit and I think it would be perfect because honestly I'm sure that it's going to get power crept anyway from other evolutions going to be coming out in the future like there's just no way that the RG will still be like one of the best evolutions after you know like 20 more evolutions come out you know what I'm saying so with that being said I feel like they should just revert the change, you know, for the HP, and it would be good to go, you know, so yeah. So I'll just go for my bar barrel right there, and he's pouring on a decent amount of pressure right here. I'll just go for my Electro Spirit, and um, you know what? I'll just hold on to my Electro Wizard. Yeah, I kind of just felt like my Ghost would hit the Warbreakers in time, so um, that is actually an amazing Fireball too. I'll definitely take that any day of the week, bro. Like, that was an amazing Fireball, and um... Yeah, not much else to really say. My RG putting a good amount of work right there, and this, yeah, he gave up. So, um, really well played right there. Let's go for the next match. Here's the next match, and let's see what this guy's got for me. He's going for a knight in the back, so I'll respond with my phoenix here. And, uh, yeah, don't really know what this is, obviously, because knight is everywhere, and he's got an inferno dragon as well, so... This is probably Graveyard, I would assume so. And, um, he's got a Fireball? Um, yeah, don't know what this is. Oh, he's got a Ram Rider. Okay, so yeah, I know what this is now. Um, yeah, I don't know how this matchup exactly goes. I feel like I might have matchup here just because I have Electro Wizard. But if I had, like, Skeletons or Goblins, I would say he has matchup because, you know, his Inferno Dragon would just pop off. And, um... Yeah, so let's see here. I got a Royal Ghost coming down the lane. He has to play a Knight for it. Pretty, pretty nice there. And um, I think all I got to do in this matchup is just, you know, um, 
have really good defense in general and um just get really good electro wizards especially on top of you know the ram riders or the inferno dragon because e-wiz can get a lot of value in this matchup and uh because you know like i said it can reset the inferno dragons it can reset the ram riders and uh yeah so got a little bit of damage right there i'll just play my electro spirit and okay so this might be a little sketchy um i had to go for my fisherman so i could let this other tower hit it and i had to go for an e-wiz and now i'm kind of broke on elixir bro <laughs> so um I have, to, I have to definitely be careful here and yeah so let's see what this guy wants to do um he's going for a ram rider so right here i'll just go for my you know royal ghost plus my electro spirit so that should be a pretty nice defense i don't think that will get a shot so yeah perfect okay um let's see He's going for a Barbarian Barrel, so I'll just go for my Phoenix in the back here. He's going for a Lumberjack, so... Okay, um, like I said, he's playing really good defenses here. And, um... I have to go for my Barbarian Barrel, plus Ghost, plus Electro Wizard here. That should be a pretty nice defense. I never really want to... Oh, gosh. Okay, well, let's see. I'm just going to play a little bit of defense here. I don't really want to push into this right now. Um, so I'll just play a little bit of defense right here, and... You know, just go for a counter push potentially, and yeah, so, let's see. That was a misplay. That was definitely a misplay. Um, I think he just loses the game now because of that. Um, he might have tried to predict my Royal Giants, but now, since he doesn't have... Yeah, it doesn't even matter, bro. My Ghost takes tower, so... Wow. Let's go for the next game. Here is the next match, and let's see what this guy's got for me. Um, it's hopefully it's just not a bad matchup, and I'll be on my way, you know? <laughs> so I'll just drop my Barbarian Barrel, and he's going for Barbarians in the back. So, um, I'll just go for my Fisherman in the back, you know. He's got the OP Barbarians, bro, the OP Barbarians. <laughs> um, really hate playing against them, by the way. Um, I'll just go for my Electro Spirit right here. He's going for Arrows. Uh, I also have to go for my Electro Wizard right here for some defense, and let's see. He's going for a Fireball. He misses his Fireball. Okay. Uh, I'll take advantage of that for sure and just go for my Royal Giant. It's this deck. No way. No way. No way. I hate playing against this deck so much. Um, honestly, it's probably one of those decks that I hate facing against the most. Um, so, yeah. This is going to be really annoying. I really don't say that decks are no skill, but... I truly believe that this deck is probably one of the most no-skill decks of all time. It's this Elixir Golem deck, and uh, it's just super strong on defense and offense because of, you know, defense for the evil barbarians and offense for, like, you know, the rage spell with the Night Witch, Skeleton King, and everything. It just gets way too chaotic to defend, and uh, yeah, it's just so no-skill. I don't know what else to say, so... Um, yeah, I'll just go for my Electro Wizard right here. Um, He's going for a Fireball, so let's see here. I'm just going to be a little patient right now, honestly. And uh, yeah, I'll just you know go for my Phoenix in the back right here. Just seeing what this guy wants to do. And uh, yeah, I'm probably honestly going to end up going for an Evil... Yeah, I'm going to go for an Evil RG right here. I got the Fireball ready just in case. Yeah, there's the Evil Barbarian, so I'll just go for my Fireball plus Barbarian Barrel. And, uh, pretty good that the Flying Machine is in the opposite lane right now, so that's pretty nice. And there's the Elixir Golem plus the Night Witch, you know, very, very skillful play by this guy. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say about this deck, man, it's just so, so, yeah, I don't even know, whatever. <laughs> I'll just go for my Electro Wizard right here, and, um, I think I kind of want to go for an RG again. Uh, because I have a pretty big counter push, and I got the fireball again for, you know, barbarians. Just like that, there they are. So, um, yeah, really nice for me. And, uh, let's see. One more shot. That is beautiful, bro. RG just went to town right there. And that is a little scary, but I really don't think that Elixir Golem will take my tower in time. So, um, Nice, really good win right there. Like I said, I really don't like playing against that deck because it's so strong. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll do more videos in the future.